Hello, this is Isaac from Cube Master Studios. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple game in Blender 2.59. So open up a new scene in Blender and go ahead and add a plane. Scale it by 20 and we'll move our character up a little. Select the plane, maybe if you, if you want. Barely extrude it down. That way it has a little thickness to it. And we can make, um, let's go to world real quick and turn on environment lighting. So select your plane and then make it blue or whatever color you want. Then select this cube you have. We're going to name that cube player and the floor. And we're going to select the plane, name it floor. So go back to the player and select it, go into wireframe and deselect all um, deselect all the vertices and select these front the front couple. Extrude out a little and just scale in. That way we know which way is front on him. So make him like a red color if you want and that should be good for now. So go ahead and go to where it says Blender Render up here in the top. Select that, hit Blender Game. Then scroll over to the physics and where it says static. Select that, make it rigid, rigid body. And select the ground and make it dynamic. Also select your player and hit collision bounds. So now they have physics added to them. So if we hit P, E, oh, what? Okay, so never mind. Do not change the floor to dynamic. Keep it static. So now we're going to go and start some uh, some game logic. So go ahead and hit Control Left Arrow and go to the game logic tab and then we are going we can move that over so down here hit where it says add sensor controller actuator there's the three different things um, the sensors they detect everything around and say when to do something the controllers connect sensors to the actuators and the actuators perform the action that the sensor detects and tells the actuators to do. And it all, all the information flows through the controllers. So go to add sensor and select keyboard, add an and controller, then add a motion actuator. Then go ahead and you can click and drag these little dots and make a little lines to connect them all over where it has keyboard sensor or it says key click on that little box when it says press a key hit W and then we're gonna go over here to the motion actuator where it says location LOC for short we're going to make it go to the Y axis um, press the little arrow make it point ten. Um, so now if we hit to play the game and we hit W our character moves forward ooh whoops <laughs> I had our plane selected whoops so make sure you have your character selected when you do that there we go. Okay. So now if we hit P, our character will move. Okay, so go ahead and minimize those and add another whole set. Add a keyboard, an and, and a motion. And then connect them all up. Connect. Now for key, pre make it press a key, hit S minimize that for location under the y-axis press negative 
10. Then minimize that. Add another motion actuator. Another AND controller and a keyboard. Sense a keyboard sensor. Connect those three. And then for key, press D. Minimize that. And for mo where under the motion, go to the rotation tab. And then find the Z axis. And make it negative 3 degrees. So now if we hit P, we can move forwards and backwards. And if we hit the D key, we turn right. Now we're going to get out of that. Add another motion actuator and controller and another keyboard and then for key make it A and connect it and then make it under rotation positive 3 on the Z scale so now if we hit P to play we can move forwards backwards turn right and turn left that is the basic motion for your character and if we you want you can add another keyboard another set of those connect those and for key press make it spacebar and then under location on the z-axis make it positive point two so now if we hit P we can jump we can jump up and down and move also if you whenever you're here don't fall off the edge because you just fall and fall and fall never get seen again so go ahead and select your camera add a always sensor an and controller connect those for the actuator add camera connect it make the height 7.5 that's how high it's gonna be from the plane or from your character sorry and then minimum do 15 that's how far away it can how close it can be minimum then do 20 for the maximum that's how far it can be away so and then under camera object click there find player select player now go to camera view by hitting 0 hit P to play and now whenever you move around your camera will follow you it will even follow you until when you fall so that is the basic and now we can move on to let's go ahead and double the size of our plane and add a cube move it over scale it on the y-axis we're just going to kind of make a little box because we we're going to make a door add so select the end vertices extrude out a bit extrude out out extrude all the way down actually we can select these and drag those over here we'll just kind of widen that okay so now we have our kind of just a little basic spot and then we'll just make it nice and big for our walls so that's going to be our wall and you can maybe color that like a little greenish color if you want so add, add another cube and then scale it so it's just about the size of this gap here we're gonna make a little door that you have to press a button to open the door so let's come to this view and make it big enough for that okay so and we can go ahead and maybe give that like a little yellow color and then we need to add over here you can add any object really I'll just do a cone for now scale that up a bit and we can 
and eh, maybe a little smaller. Just kind of bring it over here, and we'll make that red. So now what we're going to have to do, we will select our cone here, name that switch, switch, and then name our little yellow door here, door. And we'll go ahead and name our wall, wall. Okay, so now we're going to select our um, switch here. Add a um, touch sensor, an AND controller, and then a message actuator. And connect those up. Where Under message, where it says 2, click on that and select door. And then under subject type, open. And then we can go ahead and actually duplicate that cone. And on the duplicated one, we will under subject um, switch open to close. That changed it, right? Switch, yep. And this is, we can go ahead and name this switch 2. So n now we what we have to do click select the door and hit a message actuator and controller and then an F curve. Then you're just going to double all of those add another and F curve and message connect each set up with each other. And okay, so now we can minimize these messages. Over here, we are going to um, oops, actually open up those messages. Under subject for the first one, type open. And under the second one, type close. Because that's what we put on our switches for the messages. And when you touch those cones, it sends the open message to this door, and the message is sent through the controller to the F curves and for the first F curve under where it says start frame click on that and do 1 end frame click 20 and then for our second one um, start frame 30 end frame 50 and so what that's it's not going to do anything yet if we hit if we play right now and we touch our little switch here it's not going to do anything because we don't have anything set for the um, we have nothing set so go ahead and go to I'm just going to quickly add more ah there we are blender render add some more environment lighting and make the color for that just kind of white. Go back to the Blender game and go to the animation tab and go to top view and press 5 to go into orthographic. Now we're going to select put your 3D cursor about right there. Hit T, bring up this the object tools where it says origin, click on that origin to 3D cursor. So now we can rotate the door like a door. And what we're going to do, we are going to, where it has that little red record button, click on that for automatic keyframing. Hit G and click right away without moving it. Then we're going to come up to frame 20. And we're going to rotate our door open. Now go to frame 30. Um, hit R, click so it doesn't do anything skip to frame 50 and rotate the door closed so now if we go back and we play our little animation it opens and then it closes so now if we hop back to the game logic tab and we hit P to play our character can move around and now we did the animation for 1 to 20 frames and then 30 to 50 so now when we press that first 
switch, the 1 to 20 frame animation will play the door opening. Then when we hit the second switch, it closes. So that's pretty much the basics of the game engine. And there's one more thing we can do. We can add just maybe a big cube here. And we can add a sensor, do touch, and controller. And then for actuator, select scene. And it, the default is restart, which is what we want. So if we just go ahead and go to here, hit P to play, go and touch our little cone switch, then we come over here, touch the second one to close the door. Now we come over here and when we touch this box, we restart the entire scene from scratch. So I hope this tutorial was very helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And please rate and subscribe for future tutorials and videos. Um, thank you for your time, and have a great day.